high value man or woman? That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your Uplifting Life partner. I'm speaking on this conversation because uh, it's one that's become very, very popular. You're hearing a lot of people talk about the fact that they're high value or they're looking for a partner who's of high value. And here's the challenge I have and why I'm doing this video. Unfortunately, we're linking value, what we're calling value, to material things. You guys know I always talk about look for character and integrity. And then the other things we can accumulate together. But what this high value conversation really is, in most cases, is people are saying as long as you have the material things and the money, it makes you a person of high value. And that's unfortunate that that's what we're doing because it really comes back to why I do Self Love Monday. Because what people are doing is programming people who don't have the material things to believe that they are of no value. They are of no worth. That's why we live in a population right now where the self-esteem is so low in our society. Most people, when you look at the challenges they're having in their life, it's always going to revert back in almost every case how you feel about yourself, which is why, again, Self Love Monday. Um, and the world is, is creating that. And you got a lot of people that are out here talking and that are relationship, people call them gurus, whatever tag you want to put on them, that they really push that narrative of what they're calling themselves high-value men or high-value women. And again, they're only based on the fact that they have a little bit of money or an extraordinary amount of money, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they believe that that makes them better than others and allows them to look down on others. You guys know I always talk about there's a difference in confidence and arrogance. We should all be very, very confident in who we are. That's why I did the video on I am, I am a 10 and I'm perfect. Because we should all feel that way about ourselves. It doesn't matter what other people feel about you. It only matters that you know that you're a 10 and you're perfect. Um, but what happens is we, we spend, and you guys have heard me say, there's two ways to build the tallest building. One, you build the tallest building. The second one, you tear down the buildings around you so that you are the tallest building. This is what this conversation has started to do, this high value conversation, is basically tearing down those who don't have certain material things. See, we gotta understand, just because a person makes a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean they're wise with their money. We see that all the time where people make tons of money and end up homeless. Does that make them a high value person? Hmm. The fact that they never accumulated that, what, does that make them a low-value person? Hmm. See, here's the truth. We are all, and I'm not here to tell you what uh, to believe spiritually, but every single human being in the world is of high value. And never let anyone make you believe any different about yourself because of their challenges that they have within themselves because the reason they're downplaying you and they're putting you down as i've said before there's only one reason they do it is to make them feel better about themselves because they don't feel significant see a person who knows they are significant they don't have a reason to tear down others why because they there there's no benefit in tearing you down that's the reason I keep saying I'm your uplifting life partner to me. That's why we're here as a human race is to uplift each other, to encourage each other, to push, because we all bring value to the table. Um, think about it. I have, I've, 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 I've talked about this before. Like me, I don't drink because I had people in my family that had drinking issues and I watched that. Do you understand the lessons I got from that? That was valuable for me. That was high value that they contributed to my life. You guys follow me? So what the world wants to consider to be negative or look down upon actually adds value depending on your perspective. But that's not really what I'm getting to in this conversation. What I'm really getting to is understand we're all of high value. 
Separate people, and I talk about this all the time. Learn how to separate people from what they do. We're all of high value. Now, we make different decisions that we wish maybe we had made. Um, we could have made some different decisions because the difference in people's lives comes down to decisions. That doesn't make you a higher value person because you made different decisions that got you different results. That doesn't make you a more of a valuable person. Unfortunately, we live in a society that tells you that. Um, I just talked about that uh, the other, uh, the last video where when Mike Tyson talked about the fact that at one time in his life, um, he had got to the point where he considered himself of such value that he didn't even think he should walk, that he should be carried everywhere. <laughs> to me, that is what this high value conversation has pretty much come to, that this is what people's ideal of what high value is. And it's very disturbing um, because you're making people who don't have the quote unquote material things or who don't make a certain amount of money to believe that they're not of high value. And that is the reason for this video, is to let you know, don't let anyone make you believe you're not of high value. We're all high value. We're all put here for a reason. We're all here to serve a purpose. Never, ever let anyone make you feel any different about yourself just because they got material things. Tony Robbins, and I mentioned this before, Tony Robbins did a um, his last book. He interviewed about 50 billionaires, he said, and he said a majority of them are unhappy. See, the world says they're high value because they got all the material stuff. They got the money. They can do anything. What does that mean if you're miserable? Because you got all the material things. See, people that lack believe having abundance is the answer. But as Tony Robbins also says, He's gone to third world countries and the happiest people he's seen are the people who didn't have the other stuff because what was valuable to them was just the normal things, eating, being able to sleep, have, I mean, have a roof over your head. Those were the things that were significant, the things that we actually need to survive as human beings, not the big mansion. And folks, don't misinterpret what I said. I always tell people, I'm not telling you not to have the mansion. I'm not telling you not to have the car you dream. I'm not saying any of that. Do not misinterpret what I'm saying. You can have all of that. And the thing is, you need to have abundance in order to bless others. But don't ever believe that your abundance makes you, as a human being, more valuable than anyone else. Because you're not. No one is more valuable than you. And you're no more valuable than anyone else. You're also not less than anyone else. And no one is less than you. The whole idea of this video is understand we're all of high value. Do not get distracted with the people that are trying to make you believe the outside stuff, your credit scores, and all that stuff tells you you're valuable. Because folks, I always say for me, character and integrity, it means everything. That to me is value. And you don't have to have money in order to do that. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now run over to ronsipfightmyers.online. Again, ronsipfightmyers.online. Check out all the things that I got going on. And folks, as you know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Bottom line, we're all valuable. Never let anybody else make you think anything else. Again, your portfolio is separate. Remember I said separate people from what they do? Your money, that's your financial picture. That doesn't create your value. That's why a lot of people want to sign uh, prenups and all the other stuff because they believe that the outside stuff, the money and stuff, is their value. When they don't realize it's them who's the value, who went out and created the wealth. So even if they lost it, they could recreate it. Learn what real value is. It's you, not the things. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.